hook on the front porch cipher and with RW this is going to show you a real interesting method to convert base 2 binary back into decimal what we normally think of as numbers right and use every day I'm just going to show you real quick about base 10 because people don't think of it as base 10 they just think of it as what we count with what we've been taught to count with you've got the numbers 0 to 9 to work with okay so there's your 10 numbers and so if you wanted to represent 100 in base 10 you would come over to the 100s register so to speak and you would put in a 1 because it's 1 times 100 and you put a zero times that and a zero, and you can put as many zeros this way as you want. Doesn't make any difference, right? So the reason base two kind of throws people off, and kind of maybe they're like a little trepidation with binary, like, oh, I don't understand that computer stuff. Well, it's just jumping in powers of two, and so instead of ten to the zero being one, it's two to the zero being one, and then two to the first power being two, and two to the second power being four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, one twenty-eight on ad. Item, okay, so if you want to represent 100 in base 2, the easiest way to do that is you create a table like this. You just write it out unless you can do it in your head. And you've fit the biggest number that you can fit whole into 100. And then you minus that and you end up with a remainder. And then you fit the biggest number you can into the remainder and you minus that. And then you go along until you can fit the biggest number and you can't have partial numbers in, in uh, you know, just as, an, as a binary integer, obviously. So you, you just do it that way. And if you wanted to convert back, for instance, if you saw this and you wanted to know what this is, you would just go 4 plus 32 plus 64, and you go, oh, yeah, it's 100. Or if you wanted to know what 12 was, okay, you could do it this way to create 12. Or if you saw this 1100 in base 2, you know, you'd be like, okay, uh, that's a 4 plus an 8. It's 12. That's that's sort of the regular way that you are that you may find to do that. But there is an interesting method that my instructor Dave Park showed us at the IMT course. It was taught to him by an Iranian instructor. She called it Dibble Dabble. So for instance, we already know that 100 is represented as 1100100 and base 2. And the method is to take the furthest right digit, double it, add it to the next digit over, double that, add it to the next digit over, double that, add it to the next digit over, double that, add it to the next digit over, double that, add it to the next digit over, so on and so forth. And you will always end up with the decimal representation of the binary number. For instance, our number 12 that we looked at. So you double that. 2 plus 1 is 3, times 2 is 6, times 2 is 12, and there you go. There's our binary representation of 12 that we looked at right here. I thought that was a real interesting method, very elegant, very fast. And that's it for Front Porch Ciphering with RW. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.